Hey guys, Akshay here and today I'll be showing you guys how to get a GBA emulator for your iPhone on the latest version of iOS 6 without a jailbreak. So first off, what you want to do is go to settings, go to date and time, and this will be set on by default. So you will have to turn that off and change the date before July 2013. So we're just going to change it back one year to 2012. Now you have to do this because um, Apple found out that Mac build server was um, certifying apps for non-developers. And after you do that, go to Safari. And what you want to go to is bit.ly slash mu for i iOS. This site was created by Pyrofilms and scroll down until you find GBA for iOS. Go ahead and click install and click install again and there should be an icon that comes up somewhere. Okay, it's right here. and just wait until that installs okay so that should take no time go ahead and open it up and yeah here is the GBA emulator without the hack so all you need to do to get ROMs is go ahead and click the question mark in the top right corner and click open in Safari now click on the first link which is a uh, coolroms.com and it should take you to the Game Boy site now you can download whatever game you want so for right now I'll just get Pokemon Emerald which was my first Pokemon game and scroll down to where it says still loading okay uh, scroll down to where it says download which is right here and after you press download now wait some time until the ROM is loaded and now what you want to do is open in GBA for iOS in the top right corner if you don't see that click open in in the top left corner and you can open it in other apps that you have so open in GBA for iOS and there you go you have Pokemon Emerald just click on it and it should start the emulation the sound is a little glitchy but the frame rate is pretty good and it plays plays really well as you can see And you can also hold it like this. And there are many options, such as there is a save state. So for example, if we start a new game, and the app closes out for some reason, and we can close it, exit out of the app right here. And if you go ahead back in the app and click on Pokemon Emerald, it'll start from the beginning. But you can go to menu, load state and last autosave so that's a nice little feature and here we are starting at the new game and let's quit the game really quickly and here are the settings uh, you can change any of the settings here and that's it and now after all this is done go ahead back to settings go to date and time Whoops. go ahead to date and time and check set automatically again so now your time is back to 2013 and you still have the GBA for iOS. And it does play. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.